Morning everyone, here we are up in the Black Forest and today we're going to be talking about wind not wind from eating too much cabbage soup or wind from eating too many beans but a special sort of wind this wind is called a fawn wind and this fawn wind or chinook wind or helm wind whatever you want to call it because it's so dry uh, you can see for miles and miles and it's got a really strange uh, feeling to it the air's totally clear because there's no moisture in it, it's warm and uh, you get this kind of weather every now and then here in winter time and it's uh, quite interesting really. Black Forest is the uh, foothills of the Alps, basically. But let's have a little look round how far you can see in this, uh, of this um, super clear air. It's a bit like being in space in a way. So those windmills there are the ones that we were just standing at a few minutes ago. You can see there's a amazing clarity. And this wind just keeps blowing steadily, steadily. Like a hairdryer. My camera's not quite good enough to capture this um this clarity. But you can see for about 50, 60 kilometers. So there we have it, this crazy phone wind. It's just like a constant drone blasting in from the south. A bit chilly up here, even though it's a warm wind. So I'm about 2,000 foot up here. Um, I wish my camera was good enough quality to, uh, to show you what it looks like, this view. Because it's so clear, you can see for miles and miles. These clouds you can see are the typical fern clouds. And as the day wears on, they'll turn into lenticular clouds, which is sort of flying saucer shaped clouds. Lots of people mistake them for UFOs, these clouds. This phone wind also makes people uh, go a bit funny in the head sometimes. It makes them have headaches.
So now I think I'll go down to the valley for a while because it's getting a bit too shaky up on top of this tower. And the camera looks like it's going to blow over too. So I'm facing south now. As you can see, the wind's blowing straight at me in my face and myself. Phone wind streaming down off the mountains. Hopefully it's going to not blow the camera over in a minute. But it is an interesting effect and you don't get it in many places only if you live on the uh, edge of a mountain range. So like I said, the wind, the air comes up from the Mediterranean, goes up the south side of the Alps, goes up the Alps, cools down, loses its water, carries on going up and it comes over the top of the mountain and starts to fall down the other side down this side and because the air is very dry now because it's lost all its moisture it heats up really quickly and then that creates this wind and it's a, as it comes down the mountain again it heats up really quickly and uh, this, this phone wind can raise the temperature 20 degrees in one hour it's quite a strange thing lots of people get headaches from it and strange effects you sort of think to yourself, middle of November, it shouldn't be this warm. So there we have it, the strange weather effects of the phone wind. I'm back in the valley now and it's um, 21, 22 degrees, quite hot. Warm enough to lay in the sun and do some sunbathing. And that's in the middle of November. That's a weird thing about living here. You get those days sometimes in the middle of winter and the temperature suddenly rises 20 degrees. They call it the snow eater wind, the phone wind, the hairdryer wind, the helm wind, the chinook. So I hope that's been of some interest to somebody. Strange to think that in Milano now it'll be chucking it down and we're getting all the nice weather. But that's the way the pizza crumbles sometimes. Well, so that's it for today. Wishing you all the best and hoping your weather's good as well.